Dear students, now we are going to discuss about how to draw an orthographic view of your simple solids. Here I have taken few solids for an example. So, for all the solids, your base dimension will be 50 and your height will be 50. First, it is your cylinder. Your front view of your cylinder will be your rectangle and your top view will be your circle. So, first I am going to draw your top view. I just click your circle command. I just made your first center point and I entered your radius as 25. Clear? Next, I have to divide it into 4 equal parts. Sir. Since I am not going to have any inclination at all, so I have just divided only 4 equal parts for our convenient. So, I divided into 4 equal parts. Next, I have to just project your lines. Okay. Next, first I have to draw your axis line. Your height is being 50. So, from this point, I have drawn your height as 50. Okay. Then, select this line and change it into a center line because your axis line should be a center line. Okay. Next, I have to draw your front view. So, it will be a rectangle. So, I am using your line command. I have been just joining with your help of your construction points. I have just joined your rectangle. Okay. Now, after drawing it, change it into your thick line. So, your visible point should be your thick line. So, I have just selected all your visible points and I change it to your line thickness as 0.35. Clear? Next, I have a cone. Your cone diameter is 50 mm and your height has been 50 mm. Once again, I have just clicked your circle and I have given your radius as 25. Okay? Once again, I have to divide it into 4 equal parts. So, using your line command, I will be dividing into 4 equal parts. Students, once again, I am not, why I am not dividing into 8 equal parts is here it is not necessary. We are just drawing your projection. We are not going to tilt anything. So, I am just drawing only your projection. So, next I have to draw your axis point. Your height will be 50, 5, 0. Okay. Then change this line into an axis line. Then once again, click your line from your apex point you have to join with your slant line. Before that, we need your construction line. So, first I will be drawing your construction line over here. For both your base points, first I will be drawing your construction line. Then I will be joining with your apex point. So, now we got your front view of your cone and top view of your cone. So, your visible edges, I have just converted it into a thick line of 0.35. Next, we have a cube students. Your front view of your cube will be a square. Your top view will be also a square. So, I just clicked your line command. For reference, I just made a point over here. So, first click 50, 50, 50 and 50. Okay. Since it is a prism, over here also we need your axis. So, from your center point, I will be drawing your diagonal to get your center point. Okay. Next, I have to mark your axis. So, from center point, I will be drawing x y line then I will be entering it as 50 and I just change it into a center line. Okay. Next, once again, I just click your line and I will be drawing your construction lines. From this construction line, we are going to join a 50 mm lines. So, my first point, I have just joined your, all your points and I have got my continuous line. Okay. Just select it and we are going to change it into a thick lines. Okay. Your only your visible edges, I have just converted into thick lines by selecting it. Okay. Next, next I have a spear students. So, what will be a front view of your spear? Your front and top view of your spear both will be a circle. Okay. So, first I have to draw your circle. So, I just join, taken a reference point and I have entered 
your radius as 25 ok now once again split your circle into 4 equal parts ok then just to project it So, I have to get your center line. So, from here I have just drawn your center line. Just click it, change it into center line. Okay. Now, we are going to draw your front view of your circle because your front view will be also sphere only. So, just click your point and enter your radius as 25. Okay. So, when you have a projection, you can see it will be projected. Okay. So, just change your thickness of your line as 0.35. Okay. Next, we have an triangular pyramid and a triangular prism. So, on your top view, I will be having a triangle. So, I just taken a reference, this point it is 50. Okay. Either you can draw it like this by using your line command or you can use your polygon command. I am going to use your polygon command. Your number of sides 3, enter. I am going to draw with your edge method E, enter my first point. Okay. I have given your dimension as 30, but I need sorry, I have to give your dimension as 50. Just click your polygon, enter your number of sides as 3, your edges E, my first point, and I have given your edges 50. Now, I have drawn your triangle. Your height of your since it is a pyramid, so I need your axis point. So, just click your line from your axis point we are marking for a height of 50 just select your axis point and change it into a center line ok next from here just draw your projection lines ok your front view will be also a triangle only so from here I will be just joining these two points clear students. So, just select your lines and increase your thickness as 0.35. Okay. See students, I have a lack of space over here. Okay. So, I am going to continue the other two diagrams on the same video by just moving your title block bit far further. Okay. See what I have to do is first I am going to just zoom your window. And I am going to extend these two lines. So, for that what I have to do is I have just selected these two lines. Okay. I have just clicked your move, your ortho is on, so automatically I have just moved it. So, I have to get other two diagrams, so I have just moved it, clear. Then I use your extend command E x, enter, I just selected your line. You can see automatically these lines have been extended to this points. Okay. Next, I have just selected your title block move enter I have just selected this corner and I place it over here similarly I have to just extend your x y line also so 
so I just selected these points click move from this point I just moved it over here once again for a reference I drawn a line I am going to extend this line E x enter select this line automatically it will be extended so I just deleted this line does not need for me so now I have to draw your tetrahedron see students on your tetrahedron your front view is in you can see from this direction your front view is in triangle ok your top view it will be also a triangle ok so first here for tetrahedron I have to draw your front view triangle first so for what I have to do is I will be drawing a triangle just click your polygon command enter your number of side as 3 I am going to click H E ok so I just pick a point over here and I have entered my dimension as 50 I got a triangle ok students I am sorry I have not uh, drawn your prism so I will be completing your prism first then I will be coming for your tetrahedron see your prism I have a triangular prism and the height has been 50 so first I have to draw a triangle so just click it enter your number of side as 3 in E as your H your first point and enter it as 50 ok so it should be mirrored so I just clicked it I mirrored it from point to point and I do not need your source object so I have to just click yes sir. so your source object has been erased now I need your I have to draw your axis point from the axis point I will be drawing for a height of 50 50 just change your axis into an axis line center line so next I have to project your line students from this point and from this point your height will be 50 so this is your prism clear everybody so I just selected your lines and I will be converting into an thick lines point 3 ok next see I am going to concentrate over here see on your front view you have a triangle on your top view also you will be having a triangle for a tetrahedron so first on your front view I have to draw a triangle so I just click your polygon number of sides 3 H method I have just clicked your first point and I have entered it as 50 5 0 clear next I just converted into a thick line next I have to get your projections ok your front view or your top view will be also a triangle so what I have to do is I will be just getting your projections ok so I have to draw a just able to view it I will be having a triangle only so first once again polygon number of sides 3 your H method your first point and it does 50 see it should be rotated students so I just clicking it rotate your base point is over here 90 degree ok so just click rotate select your object just rotate it ok just select it and move it I place it over here see over here we need your center point and it should be joined to these points see these are all your visible point students so this is your top view of your tetrahedron you have to select everything everything should be a dark line 
so I just changed it to 0.35 at last I came for your octahedron see on your front view you will be having a top triangle and a bottom triangle on your top view you will be getting a square so first I have to draw your top view ok so once again I will be just extending your xy line bit extended so I just click your move I move and place your line just select it ex enter select your line you can see it is being extended ok now first I have to draw a square for 50 mm so my first point 5 0 enter 5 0 enter 5 0 enter and 5 0 now I draw on your top view see on your top view I have an apex point so what I have to do I have to get your center points so for that what I will be doing I will be just joining your points over here similarly over here also just select everything and convert it into a thick line that is 0.35 now once again just click your line students just draw your projection lines just click your line draw your projection lines so I am going to just zoom this area zoom window so it will be easy for us so just click your line from this point over here ok now we need your first your axis point your axis is 50 mm so for that I just selected your center line I just clicked it from here I joined for 50 ok this is your height student next what I have to do is I have to get your center line then only I can get your so it has been 50 so from here what I will be doing to do is I am going to get a 25 mm line Okay. then change it into a bilayer select it from here this is your first point join it ok see I have just joined, I have to get a triangle from your top and front so what I have to do is I just deleted these points so I got my center line so from here I have to join these two areas see students you can clearly visible see first on your front view this is your first triangle and this is your bottom triangle so I have to draw triangles only so what I have to do is I am going to draw your triangles so I am just zooming your window so it will be easy for us so just click your line this is your front view of your tetrahedron sorry octahedron so just select your lines and change it into thick lines so I just change it into 0.35 so with this I wind up your lecture for simple solids thank you all